Gravity. At least one person showed up for the extra credit field trip. That's more than last year. Whatever. Let's get this over with. Jamie, I want you to show Mr. McGregor some respect. He's a local inventor, and we should be thankful that he gave up part of his day for us. Hello! Welcome! <laughs> this is my workshop. I make things here. You see, student, this is where the magic happens. Why don't you show us some of your work? <sighs> this is a hat nailed to a board. Why? It keeps the hat and board together. They'd often get separated. You see, student, Mr. McGregor is showing you a new way to think about things. That's what inventors do. Now, this is a board nailed to a board. This, this is a nail, nailed to a nail. Why? This nail is nailed to that nail. It's really rather simple. Are you in college? <laughs> Why would you nail a nail to another nail? That's retarded. Jamie, apologize immediately. Sorry, Mr. McGregor. No apologies necessary. These inventions can seem frightening at first. Okay, so do you have any inventions that aren't things nailed to other things? I do. <laughs> this is two boards glued together. And this is two glue bottles nailed together. Now, technically, they're nailed together, but the glue helped some. So they could fall into either category. Bravo. Bravo. You Bravo. revolutionized <laughs> gluing and nailing. Bravo. Do you have a comment, Jamie? <laughs> no. All I care about is graduating, so I'm just keeping my mouth shut. Give me your opinion. Do I have to? Yes. All of this is just stupid. I mean, you can nail anything to anything or glue something to something else and it doesn't make it an invention. You could nail a leaf to a book or glue some bark to a wall. I don't see how these things have any sort of functionality. Jamie, why oh, I ought to... Leaf nailed to board. Bark glued to a wall. Oh. I should be learning from this child. Give you an A. Hot damn. Gravity. Gravity. Gravity.